Some of you have shared your success stories and sent me photos and videos. Thank you so much for your encouragement. And that is what makes me feel like to keep on doing something interesting and then share it with you all. This is the last episode. I will talk about the assembly of the kayak and also talk about how to build an integrated seat and as well as modifying the plan to handle heavier load. There are four V folds and I used bungee cords to hold them together. I have extra strings tied onto the bungee cords and pre-thread them through the holes so I can assemble the bow faster. I use similar arrangement with the PVC crossbar at the back and I use the pre-threaded rope to facilitate the assembly. You can replace the bungee cords with ropes too. With bungee cords, I don't have to tie the knots. The drawback is I cannot force the triangular folds into a more perfect triangular shapes. To me, this doesn't matter much because most of the triangles will be above water and will not increase the drag to the boat. Let's take a look at the seat of my Gen 10. You can do something similar here and, and build a seat onto the floorboard. You can have bungee cord on the floorboard and use the cord to secure the bottom padding. The back support can be created by a doubled up crawler sheet and the base is fused to the floorboard. The kayak has a strong gunnel and you can use similar arrangement as shown here to secure the back of the seat. You can mount two brackets on the gunnel and use a piece of rope and tubing to create the foot rest. Let's take a look at the modification to the plan. With the current design, the width of the bolt is 28 inches, 9, 10, plus 9. Let's say if I want to expand the width to 30 inches, I allow 12 inches at the center and then add 2 19 inches on the side, totally 30 inches from here to here. And I'll keep the height of the gunnel to be the same at 9. The modifications would be relatively simple. I will move this line. Instead of a cutting 10 inches here and move it up by 1 inch on each, each side, I move it up 1 inch on each side. And then the second line I have to do is, I have to move the same, another inch up here. Same with here, I will move another inch up here. Since the side has been moved, and I have to do some minor adjustment with this triangle here, pointing to the right place. Then if you notice, this particular area changed because this line has moved up after we adjust the point here. And there are more changes because the bottom part here, this particular triangle, is reflected to the top. To simplify the design, I made the top triangle to be the same as the bottom one. I hope you find this video useful. If you do, Please give me thumbs up, give me feedback, thanks for subscribing, and see you later, bye. <music>